Zrint to Dev. We got Doom, but it's Zelda. Alright. Oops, got hair in my headset. Okay. Yep. It's Doom and it's Zelda. It's awesome. I don't know how they got Doom running in the Zelda engine. Or Zelda running in the Doom engine. But it works very well. Where am I? Oops. New game. We'll go on normal mode. I had it on hard, and it's really hard. But I want this to be an entertaining recording at the very least. Oh my gosh, my hair will not hit my face. Alright, cool NPC dialogue. Ends if you attack the fire. Never mind. Forgot nothing happens when you attack the fire. Oh, that's buggy. I swear I'm seeing like lines. Oh well. I'm going crazy. Oh my gosh. I've got like this one single hair. Okay. I'm good. fairy right now. Fairy drops are way more common in this version. I don't know why. I don't know if every enemy is set to drop a specific thing, but I've seen a million of them. That's a shop. Don't have any money to buy stuff. I have two rupees, but not enough to buy anything from there yet my boundary okay there's gonna be a zora and more of these guys up here there's a zora popping out of the river we go behind here oh hey that's a level oh yeah that's either level four or you have to get to it from the raft from level four I forget which way that goes enemies don't despawn for like way longer now and it's annoying But pickups also take forever to despawn, which is nice. Alright, two and a half hearts. It's doable. Whoa! Jeez, that guy does not unload. This guy does when you get all the way up to this screen, though. Okay. That's level one. That's where we're going. This is all controlled by one hand. I don't want to bother any of these guys. I hate them. Stay away from me. Oh, I have really long range. Oh, but there's a Zora there. save here. Oh wait. Nope. Save. Rinta. Alright, this guy's here. Okay, now I'm at a heart and a half. This guy shouldn't be any trouble. There we go. Alright. Here it is. Level 1. How do I- oh, that's the map. Okay. Good to know there is a map and it works. You save here, because this is where you would get a save. Oh, it does auto-save when you go into a dungeon. That's awesome. So there's a key in either of those rooms, and then I, I think I can go through this dungeon with an extra key. Oh, the bats. These are going to be a pain. Alright, key. Bath's not as bad as I thought it would be. 
I swear there's less enemies in that room than this version. So cool. I hugely recommend this. It's Quest Z Doom, and The Legend of Doom is the mod. Oh no, these guys. Okay, we got seven rupees. I noticed in the shop when I played through this before- Oh good, the freeze power-up works. I noticed in the shop when I played through this before, uh, instead of like the bigger shield or whatever it's called in the normal version, I always just see it as a bigger shield. Uh, it's the Hylian shield from the newer games, which is cool. Alright, nothing over there. That's two keys, no bombs. I don't know how to switch weapons, I'm guessing it's that button. Oh, I'll see. You get the bow in this dungeon, so... Okay. That's the interact button. X. For me. B A for other people. Oh, jeez, that's a lot of you guys. These guys are easier to fight in VR. Ranged enemies are harder. the map looking like. Alright. Whoa, that's a lot. Give me the fairy. Yeah, freeze time. And they even did room detection for the freeze time power-up. I'm impressed. Honestly, with this. It's cool. Oh, I'm down another. I'm down half a heart. So there's like wings out to the side on here, I think. This is like the eagle shaped dungeon, if I remember right. Okay, they recolor everything so it makes sense for the more modern Zeldas. I love that. I don't like these bats. Stay away from me. I mean, they're well made, but like, I don't like them in the game. Is this 20 rupees? That's what red usually is. There was no red in the original. 40, okay. It's just the orange, blue, and the blue, I think. This is so cool. I'm never gonna get over just how cool VR is. There was a door in that room. Okay. <laughs> no. No, please. No, one heart. Ooh. I love that all the graphics are Doom style. Like this, the sword and everything that you're holding. Okay, I've got two keys. I'm gonna go check the other. Let me go check the other place. Oh, I didn't. I never noticed that little tiny detail on the doors. Oh, it's very slightly off. It says there's a door here. Oh, that's bombable, I bet. Man, that's a bummer. It reveals bombable passages. And that's also bombable. I guarantee it. Interesting. Don't like that. I don't know what any of these numbers mean. Oh good, it's not the big slimes. Doom Engine is apparently really good. How do you- oh wait. Oh, that's one block. That makes a lot more sense for the scale of this. Oh wait, is this the Eastmost Peninsula guy? South of the arrow mark hides great wisdom. Wow. That's different. In the original, isn't he the eastmost thing hides the secret? Oh, you can jump. That's handy. There's a sprint button. Oh, 
Okay. So one of those two by two is one block. So that's actually two blocks. Okay. Now the scaling makes sense. So these are just bombable shortcuts then. Oh, and that reveals the entire map. <laughs> this is so well made. I don't know why I'm so impressed by it like that specifically, but it really is incredibly well made. That was lucky. <laughs> so lucky. Boomerang! Uh, okay. So how do I switch held item? Oh, this is the wallmaster room. Hey, wait, where's the key? I swear there's a key somewhere. It's probably a limitation of the engine, of not grabbing items. Okay, all the wall masters are back. Hooray! I guess they can't come out of the wall in the Doom engine. Uh. Wait, door's back here. Please let me through. Okay, I'm safe. Oh, boss fight! Forgot about you. I don't know why I thought it was over there. Uh, load game. Back to the beginning of the dungeon. I really should save more often. I 100% forgot there was a jump button in this game. Oh, it spawns a random amount of enemies. So there's three last time. Oh, I got half a heart from that. Two keys. If I don't use one of the unnecessary ones, I should be good. Oh yeah, sprint button. Okay, if I ever get down to one heart, I make a save. It's the Just for YouTube's sake, so I don't have to redo the entire thing a ton. So you know this game gets way harder. I don't look forward to whatever those guys are called with like the circling bug things. This is the- no, this is the red ruby room. I was gonna say this is the map room. Alright, so all of you bats, stay away from me. I missed both of those. Give me the rupees and I will be gone. <laughs> it's terrifying. Maybe I can stand to kill a couple. Alright, one heart. There's a key here. I missed that last time. Oh, maybe I did. <sighs> you guys again? Is this the map room? I'm forgetting everything I know about this game. I want half a heart. Run, run, run. Away, 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 away. Oh, and go away. Oh, and run away. <laughs> Oh wait, 
that's the wrong button. Okay, going this way. Hate bats. Don't like them. They're better than I thought they were gonna be, but I still don't like them. Oh, it's just a really long range, or a really short range ranged weapon is how they did the sword, I think. So if I just get really close to this guy and point at him, he should die. Okay. Now you want to go. Oh, that's just that guy. I know he... This is the map room, isn't it? My okay. I'm gonna save now. This game is way harder in VR. I don't usually use save states, but this is a pain. So the reason these guys are so much easier to hit is because they have big hitboxes. Whereas in the game, I'm pretty sure everything has the same hitbox, because you can only move directly in the middle of a tile or on the lines between tiles in the game. In the original game. Uh, yes. The most recycled room, I'm pretty sure, is that one. Ow, that hurts. This is the most recycled room. Yeah, these guys have huge hitboxes. I've got half a heart now. No. Okay. Ranged enemies? Not fun. I'll say that. Not fun. We're gonna beat level one this video. That's how this is gonna go. Okay, don't walk into them, you die. Good to know. How long have I been recording? Probably forever. Oh well. They recolored all the rupees and I am happy. So now you guys will both throw? No, they're random timing. Of course it is. This is where the bow is, though. Right? Do I not have to buy arrows in this version? I better not. It'd be awesome. I don't want to know what happens if I unload a key. An <laughs> important collectible. Oh, this is even more terrifying in VR. <laughs> I love the stairs. What is this? the heck? These controls are all messed up now. Okay. Okay, that's forwards. I'm, I'm pressing left on the controller. So if that's left, then backwards goes this way? Yeah. Don't like that. Oh wait, okay, left is just forwards anyways. Alright. So they found a way to make these sections worse. That's always great. Just give me the bow. No, just give me the bow. No! No, I'm back here. Oh, 
I'm gonna save after I beat these guys. I think I got a cheap hit on that one. I did not touch that. Okay, so those are very easily cheesable. Oh yeah, left is forwards in here. Man, love these controls, love these controls. I know this is a platformer section in the original, but you don't gotta make it that difficult. backwards. Right is backwards. No, right, right, left. Alright, left, left, left. Left, no! I press left instead of right! I don't, I don't like that section. I didn't even wonder why. One, two, three, and two. Okay, now if I just stick as close as possible to that, I want to trigger. Left. Ugh. Ugh. This is making me motion sick. I don't like that. Alright. I'm gonna save here because I can get here easily, anyways. And it's just more convenient. I just... oh. oh, I can move normally now. So good at this. Yeah. Got that. Oh, do I need arrows? I do need arrows. How do I switch weapons? Do I just have the bow instead of the sword now? Wait, how do I get rid of this? Options. Controls. Action. Secondary. Switch weapon. Weapons. Next weapon. Right shoulder. Okay. Okay, there we go. Now I can switch weapons. That's a lot easier. Okay. Wait, no. Now right is forwards. Why is right forwards? Alright, I'll deal with it. No. <sighs> Wait, did these walls not have collision? Oh, okay. Save. Okay, now I can go normally. I'm not gonna question the methods of how this game works. I'm just gonna accept that it does and know that it's pretty cool. And it probably took way too freaking long to make. I can range these guys now. And I don't have to buy arrows. Oh, but when you get rid of the sword, does that also get rid of the shield? Wait, here, hit me. 
Let me save real quick and then let him hit me. Yeah, that does get rid of the shield. Okay, there's a trade-off. That's good to know. Die. So now I can cycle between... Okay. And then to use boomerang, I hold that trigger and go that? No, I be on sword. And I hold that trigger and do that. Alright. Cool. This is the wall master room? Yeah. That's terrifying. Whew. All right. This actually makes it so much more challenging and it's so much more fun to play like this. Why couldn't they have made the, no, I know why they couldn't have made the original game in VR. Boss fight time. Oh good, arrows hurt him. Yeah, that guy's easy. No, I have four health. That's gonna make such a big difference. Oh, that's cool. I like how they did that. They removed like the little like uh, around thing. All right, guys. Thank you for watching level one. dealing with them anymore all right yeah thank you for watching that is really freaking cool i love that this is a thing that works awesome cool all right see you guys